Welcome to my channel. This video explains about the design and analysis of a multi-valued logic in Cadence Virtue. So, ternary logic is a multi-valued logic with three voltage levels 0, 1 and 2 as high. The three types of inverters are NTI negative ternary inverter, PTI positive ternary inverter, STI standard ternary inverters. So these are the respective truth tables for the input voltage levels. For STI compare the logical level with this and for NTI these are the three inputs and these are the outputs with 2, 0, 0. Similarly, with this as inputs, these are the outputs for PTI. The circuit for NTI and PTI are shown here. The only change that is observed is the chiral vectors which leads to the diameter of the carbon nanotube is specified here. Change this, it will change to PTI. P-type Carbon nanotube has a chiral vector of 10, 0. Here it is 19, 0. For N type it is 19, 0. It is 10, 0. The typical response of these three inverters is shown here. Since it is a multi-valued logic, initial or high value is 2, mid value is 1 and low value is 0 for STI. And for PTI, the, there are two high values and one low value. For NTI, it is having a high value of 1 followed by two zeros. These ternary multivalued logics are designed with carbon nano field effect transistors. Let us try to implement that in Cadence. I have already designed the NTI, test bench setup is there and it is the circuit schematic with a chiral vector of 10 0 and for N type it is 19 0. Press Q to see the object properties. Similarly, the test bench setup for a positive ternary inverter and its PTA logic. This shows the standard ternary inverter test bench setup and its STA logic implemented with six transistors, three P type and three N type. To perform the analysis of all these three logics, go to the launch, click on ADE assembler, create new view, OK. Then you give any design name. I will give the name as new test. On the left, you have the test setups. Click to add the test. So, first I will add the STA TB. The second test to be added is PTA TB test bin setup. And the third test is NTA test bin. All the three tests are loaded STA, PTA, NTA. For these respective tests, you need to add the analysis. I want to perform a simulation of 15 nano. Click on moderate. It is added here. Similarly, I want to go for DC analysis of all the tests. Select the component. STI. So, this is the input 
click on ok sweep the range from 0 to maximum of 0 0.9 hold in step size of 0 0.01 go to the master view and check these two analysis are loaded for this analysis or for this PTA try to add the output select the STA then go to signal add the input similarly for STA another signal that it to be added is STA as the output Now add the analysis for the second test which is a PTI. Similar analysis of 50 nano and DC analysis. This time it is a PTI. Input source is a DC voltage. Sweep the range from 0 to 0. 9 in linear steps of 0 0.01 click ok this is the analysis already loaded now you add the outputs select the PTA then add the signal select the input one more signal to be added that is PTI then add the analysis for the third test bench similar analysis 15 nano click on DC analysis NTI DC source sweep range is from 0 to 0 0.9 0 0.01 go to the master view then select the output setup NTI add the signal Common signal names are given. One more signal to be added. That is NTI. All the signals and analysis are loaded into the test setup. Just click on run simulation. It has to perform the three simulations for three different setups this ad assembler is able to handle multiple test benches at a time now this is the first one sta standard ternary inverter being simulated it may take a bit of time to complete the simulation we'll wait for this It is completed here for STA and this is for PTA. Next, it is completing for the status is done, finished. Then click on plot all waveforms. Here it opens three kinds of waveforms for three test setups. So this is for NTI, the second one second one is for PTI, its transient response and for DC, 
Similarly, this one is for STA. Inverter characteristics for three valued logics 0, 1, and 2. It's inversion 2, 1, 0. The DC characteristics which is 2, 1, 0. I want to plot all the DC characteristics in a single wave. So go to the file, click on new rectangular, just send this NTI and V in or just copy these two, paste here. Then copy the PTA diagram here that is characteristics paste for STI copy this you have three waveforms here Change the waveform color as well as width for NTI for PTI the color I am giving is blue with a width of thick and for STI You can find the variations now you check the input and output relations for a multi-valued logic for three different multi-valued logic inverters this indicates it is high this indicates it is a mid value it is already showing that half of the value maximum value is at around 900 milli 900 millivolt half the value is 450 and final value is very low to zero